First off, let's start with copper. So for copper, you need to go on floor, floor 11 and mine up all the copper you see. And then simply leave leave the mines and go back to the elevator and do it over again. But I recommend floor 30, floor 31 actually, but it's dark. So if you don't like the darkness or you don't have a glow ring, I recommend for you to go to floor 10. But I still think floor 31 is more efficient. So the next resource up is iron. And you want to go back to floor 41, mine all the iron you see, and reset the floor by going back up to the elevator, plusing floor 40 again. And that brings us to the next one. So with coal, you want to have a burglar's ring, which you get by killing 500 dust sprites from the Adventures Guild. And you also want monster musk. So for the ability to craft monster musk, you need to complete the wizard's prismatic jelly on the special orders board. And you also need 30 slime and 30 bat wings. So let's get into it. So while you're farming iron on floor 41, you can also farm dust sprites, as you can see here. And they have a very high chance of giving you coal. There we go, 10 coal in like 30 seconds, as you can see. So let's move on to our last one, which is gold. So for gold, you want to go on floor 81. And as you can see, you want to just reset this floor over and over until you get a bunch of gold, whatever you want. And this can also be used for farming fire quartz. As you can see, one just spawned on floor 81 as well. So you can multitask if you want to craft those quality sprinklers. You need refined quartz, and gold, and iron. This is a great way to get it. And you can also farm quartz normal quartz on the ice levels of floor 41 while you're farming coal and iron as you can see thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one peace